I mean, it's a Masters, it's a big event. And so, you know, can we see that kind of rare form out of VP? And they aren't wasting any time at all. Look at this, straight up. I mean, they actually chuck all the nades out onto A site. That's as fast as you can throw them. And now they just start to go for the plow. They're setting up for it. They got three people by Pop Dog and Jacob playing close to the smoke here. They are actually going to execute. I thought maybe they'd try and fake it and run to B, but it's going to be A instead. And the quick trade there, Rain going down. Taz dies well. By Ali and Snack showing up. And now it's going to be just a 1v2 and Neo quickly finishing the round, shutting down Fox and. A very, very aggressive uh, round coming out of Virtus Pro. You could tell that FaZe, even if they had people in position, that was just too many VP members on the site. And, um, I mean, the initial trade is just going uh, the Polish way. I wish we, I, like, I don't care about the frags. I want to see a replay of them actually setting up with those smokes because that was so quick. They didn't waste yeah. any time at all VP. They were literally just like running and throwing the smokes to get them into position onto the A site. It was just as fast as you can possibly get a smoke execute out. That was really sick from VP. That's a total change of pace that FaZe were not expecting at all. And we could get more of the same here, actually. Well, obviously not more of the same, but we could get Virtus Pro once again gathering up and going into it, although AZ has pushed into team main, so at least this time around, FaZe have a little bit of info. But look how careful they're being on the on the terrorist side here. They're really not giving Gimme anything up. I bet you Stax is going to check this corner because they've been so paranoid already. See them setting up for flashbangs and everything else. They're really... Well, that was a bit of a failed flashbang. They will actually check the corner, but AZ still able to get the kill, which is more than he should have been able to, so... Virtus Pro going to be annoyed at that. He decides to step out, and once again, Snacks is able to pull a fast one on him. But Jacob not going to be able to actually get that kill. Snacks lives with one HP. Doesn't get more painful than that for Jacob. Face, I mean, he doesn't know because he can't. It's not like matchmaking. He can't see how much damage he dealt. That's still way too close there. That could have turned it around. Had they got control of main, that was a gun for, to pick up there for FaZe. They could have actually put that to good use. Instead, they lose another two duels, and now VP, they're in a three-on-one versus Keo. Well, Keo, I mean, he is good with the Deeg, but it's not the, it's not going to be the easiast run here. Taz actually has some HP, but Pasha and Snacks are so very low, there's still a chance for him here. Oh, well, that was Taz. He just uh, got the shot in on. So a bit of a shame, because if it had been either one or the other two, that probably would have been a uh, kill immediately. But, I mean, even if he, if he, all he needs to do is, is hit, you know, four bullets here, it still is a bit of a tough call for him to make. Going for the early shot there, taking down Snacks. There's a shot on Pasha as well, and if he could have got that flick on Taz, that maybe would have been it. Very expensive round here for Versus Pro. This phase, uh, yeah, show a bit of promise, which I think they, uh, they're they definitely going to need. Won't be able to buy, obviously, this round. The third round coming up, still not enough money. Single smoke being picked up by Kiyoshima. And it's like all off of one ineffective flash thrown by Bialy. That's really frustrating for VP. They flash in, they get no reaction of it. I mean, obviously, the guy isn't blind, so he doesn't even shoot. Just sits there, waits, and off of that play from AZ, it all kind of unfolds there for FaZe. 1v1 doesn't go their way for FaZe, but they do do the damage in the end. And Snacks, he's going to be able to step up here with the MAC-10. I mean, VP, they won the important round. Now they're just going to be able to go straight on to FaZe. But FaZe, even with the, I mean, nearly a hard eco, just some P250s, they're doing some damage here. AZ even picks up a kill with a USP. Yeah, this is a bit worrying right now. You want VP to come back in a round like this and almost play it flawlessly here, and that's obviously not happening. The bomb will be going down. But, uh, full member of the full team of FaZe is still out here. Kiyoshima going to pick up the one kill, but Fox going down. And uh, jumping onto the train, got some real action going on now with AZ in a one-on-two. Trying to see if he can get maybe one more kill in, or at least maybe just by time, actually. If he just waits here, maybe able to force someone to blow up with him. That's not going to happen. It'll be Neo with the triple kill and a 3-0 lead for Virtus Pro early on in this game. Still way too early to call it, but um, I think this is important for FaZe. They've been doing a lot of damage in the last two rounds. Um, now they need to follow up with a round win. Yeah, exactly. And especially now that it's like, okay, Fox, all the win conditions are here. They actually have some rifles, a decent nade count. Nearly all of them have the smokes. They have a healthy number of flashes to work with. This isn't too bad here for FaZe. And they have that AWP on Fox. And Fox likes to play around Ivy, but that also gives them eyes towards main. So we'll see. I mean, last, uh, oh, it was quite a while ago when we saw that real big duel between Pasha and Fox over here on a map. All map long, they kept facing each other, and it was Fox coming out ahead many of the times. But Fox, he, you can kind of count on him over here in this alley area. He does know how to play with that AWP. And it's not an easy spot on the map to play at all. Well, that kind of opening kill is going to help them quite a bit. And Snacks trying to peek, but both Jacob and AC were there by Electric. So that's actually kind of a, a cool angle when you've got uh, Pop Doc smoked off anyway. Could have double up on main like that. And now it's hard to see how FaZe are going to end up losing this. They've got... Pretty much everything you need here to uh, to make this work. Yeah, the two-man advantage. They still have some nades as well. Minute on this clock. All they have to do is sit and wait. 
because they are covering the main spots. Pasha, he goes for the shoulder peek in, but Rain takes out Taz. In the meantime, Neo steps out from Pop Dog and he gets taken out by Rain. And Rain will get two. AZ the one. And Phaser on the board. A flawless round. So doing damage with the pistols, making life difficult for VP. Once they got the rifles, it completely changed up and they actually just completely shot out VP from that round. So really solid work actually coming in from FaZe. Surprisingly good. And that's off the back of another two rounds that were really close. Like all the three rounds the VP have won, including the pistol, were down to either a, a two on two or one on two. So just a little bit scary for uh, for the Polish side here. I mean, they they have been known, I think, in the past to be a little bit slow at the gates as well. But I really I want to see them change this up quick because you could you can kind of tell that FaZe are they're actually turning up for this game. They they seem really ready. Jacob hasn't even killed anyone yet, and they're still playing very well. Yeah, they're fired up right now. And a real, I mean, this is this also makes me wonder a little bit. VP, very delayed call to go for the force buy. I mean, they were practically running out of the spawn when somebody just decides to go for it. Pasha actually full bot, and then everybody else followed suit. Snacks with the AWP, why not? I mean, he does. I was asking him the other day as well, like, hey, Snacks, you know, why are you up? And he's just like, oh, because I feel like it. Like, okay, fair enough. He's calling the shots as well on VP right now, as far as the in-game leading role is concerned. So, I mean, he's just like, whenever he feels like getting the op, he just picks it up. And that's the crazy thing about Snacks is that when he's on it, when he's on point, he can actually use it effectively. He can take on some of yeah, the best yeah. offers and actually win those duels. And well, there you go. There's the entry kill. Takes out Rain to open up the B site. Wow, what a ridiculous way to actually get that opening as well. Just jumps right in. Kiyoshima just has to try and stay alive right now. Wait for Baka to come in. AC really aggressive pushing through. And you could tell that caught Taz off guard just a little bit. The bomb, bomb is down at the second kill coming from Snacks. Looking for a third. He's going to get it on AC as well. What a great lineup and what a huge investment here. A big risk taken by Virtus Pro, but it seems to be paying off by Ali and Pasha to finish the round. And Virtus Pro, what an absolutely incredible knockout. That's that's such a big punch coming through. I mean, you buy an AWP on top of a, what, one AK and three tech lines? And you get three kills with it from Stacks. Again, this guy's just incredible. And, you know, as uh, you, mean, you can be sure that on the desk they were mentioning that, you know, Stacks, he can, he's the linchpin of VP. Not only is he calling right now, but he just seems to, I mean, when he actually is, you know, playing his game, landing all the shots, he's just one of the most cerebral players on the map as well. He's so hard to outplay because half the time he's just outsmarting you straight up and on top of <laughs> landing all the kills. Did he just stand on top of Neo on the ladder and get that kill? I think he did. Why not? Just that, makes it happen, man. That has to be a scary sign for FaZe, because when Snax is in this kind of mood, really weird things happen. He is an extremely versatile player. Not, I think not many people I've put in his category of uh, sort of like skills, you know, just too, 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 many, too many tools in his toolbox. Still got more than a minute left here, and um, with FaZe not having any kind of armor and a couple of upgraded pistols here, Rain with the Deagle on the corner, but already been spotted out, makes it a bit dangerous for him. Trying to see if he can escape back down, and he will manage to land on the ledge there without taking any damage, but Pasha snuck himself into C-Connector. That grenade gonna fall right at the feet of uh, Rain. It will be Fox to take down Pasha finally. So a little bit of damage being uh, put into Virtus Pro here, but not enough, I think, to make a real difference. Rain would have to land some really good deal headshots to make this worth it. At this point, it's just like hope to hope to get lucky, catch out Taz. He's low, so maybe you get that one shot in there, pick him off, but it's not even going to happen. Neo from on high will find him out in the open. Five rounds on the board here for VP. Once again, in control wow. of the situation, but we will get that buy coming in here from FaZe. After that round of eco, they're going to be able to make it happen and actually have a pretty healthy buy again. A little light on the nades on the top two on Jacob and Rain. I'm but starting yeah. to get really wor worried for FaZe because I think yeah, the first four rounds were looking so good. You know, close rounds for the first three. Then the fourth round is a, is a knockout. They just, they win, they win every single duel. And now, Virtus Pros just seem to be almost unstoppable here. They just, they, they're winning all the entry fights. What could, what could FaZe do to turn this around? They're, they're have, coming up with a really default setup here. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll see if it's going to pay off. This is like an interesting angle from Kyoshima, though. Could be fun. Actually, yeah. I mean, he's way out in the open right now. This is probably one of the last angles that VP will expect, although he is kind of in line with Connector. And so if Neo comes around that corner, you know, trying to pre-aim Connector, that might catch him off. I mean, that might be a little awkward for Kyo. They are going for the boost to look towards the back train towards Connector as well. This is pretty slick play here from VP. But both players on phase holding up close. So if the rush does come out, they will be in position. The smokes shouldn't be too effective versus Rain and Keo right now. So that's if VP decides to commit, because Pasha's still waiting in the back line to see if anybody pushed through T-Main, trying to push up through Pop Dog and trying to get the info. So he's he's still he's holding the back uh, the backstab basically. But Snacks, he gets that pre-aim, just doesn't land the shot. 
And they had the flashbang as well to get in there, so really hard to return that fight. It's going to be Bialy to open up the bomb site now. Rain, you could tell just too many angles. So that's a problem with only having those two positions. AC going to be going down, and actually Taz pushing through the Molotov, really trying to play some mind games here on phase as they're already running to try and save the rifles they have. This is this is suddenly looking like an extremely good Virtus Pro. I'd be a little bit worried if I was uh, any other team in the tournament right now because. They seem to be fully ready, and I was actually, I was talking to Taz quite a bit in Columbus after they got knocked out, and, uh, and I just, you know, I did try and interrogate him a little bit about sort of the, the state of the team, and, and obviously, he, even in Columbus, he said, it's a good follow-up from uh, Fox there, trying to see if he could save the AWP, but um, he did say in Columbus, he wasn't sure why people said they were in a stunt, they felt pretty good, obviously. Um, well, because you're playing in a multi-million dollar league and you're losing everything, that's actually yeah. one of the worst oh. performances we've seen in a long time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, so obviously everybody, you know, it's, that's sure obviously it's what online. But. Everyone is saying right, but um, I don't, Taz nearly, I nearly got him to bet me that uh, they would win this whole tournament. Taz said they could. Nearly? Yeah. I, I, he, what was the deciding factor? What kept Taz from betting at all? Well, so what was it like? Did you want like 10% of the prize money or something? Or were you just like, hey, yeah, just put up or shut up, Taz. Let's set that up. I think we were, I, I can't remember what the bet was, but, um... Hey, Taz is that confident. Hey, come on. Yeah, that's, that's what I said, that's what I said, but, um, just, just backed out at the end. <laughs> Good job from Fox there, picking up the AWP, uh, or just yeah, saving it from the other round, obviously, but, um, but saving it and, and just getting four kills like that. Six and one, but it's, it's sort of a slow lining at this point, you know? It's mostly working out well for the Polish team right here. Well, this is where the, I mean... VP, they start going fast, and then obviously phase. they're in position to deal with that with the turns in the straight-up duels. Now, they, I mean, VP, they're just taking their time with it. Although, as I say that, oh, Neo gets caught on the ladder, can't get off of it because Taz is body blocking him. Biali will be able to find the headshot on AZ, but they know that there's one, at least one, by Pop Dog. Little do they know, Rain and Jacob are both waiting in there. So there's an element of surprise now going phase's way. Although, as I say that, Snacks, you can't even fool this guy. You can't pull a fast one on him. And that's some heads up play right there. Fox with a good shot, Kiyoshima. By Electric, unable to get the kill, and Fox gonna pick up a second one now. It's a 1v1. This will be a huge clutch by Ali on the other team. He's got three kills already and just six health left, but he's got the AK, shooting him in the back, and... Oh, Fox, almost getting caught. Yeah, the grenade would kill him if he was uh, a little bit closer. Molotov to follow it up, and... He's gonna pick up the bomb now. This is... If you phase, everything almost rides on this one round. They're already very far behind. Fox has to get this round. It's everything now for FaZe. And with 19 seconds, you're playing mind games right now, Bialy? This is crazy. He's going to run right out in Fox. Perfect position. No chance for Bialy whatsoever. Doesn't use any of the nades he had. He just tries to go for the shoulder peek. And Fa Fox just massive clutch. Huge round, huge back-to-back -back rounds, actually, for him. The four kills, obviously, making it very expensive for Virtus Pro in the round before. But he saved his off. And then he comes through in the clutch for his team here in a key round at the beginning of this half. But look at this. I mean, Neo's clearly stuck on the ladder there. That's so frustrating. Because that should have been a trade. That should have been a one-for-one one every day of the week. Neil getting caught, though, just threw everything out of whack. Yeah, that did look a bit ridiculous, didn't it? But, um, yeah, I mean, you mentioned Fox. He's got 11 kills. Uh, top fragging uh, right now in the server, even above anyone on VP, in spite of them being four rounds down. That's Fox opening up again and taking down Pasture as VP were looking for a bit of an execute onto the A-bomb side. They've already put some smokes in, so a little bit risky. Gets the leg shot in, pistols out. Fox looking for a follow-up. He's still alive for a second at least. The Snacks is going to be taking him out and following up on Rain, which seems a bit of a needless peak to be taking there. AZ going down as well now. Just Jacob on the bomb side. FaZe losing more than they should in the exchange there. Really dicey, actually. And now there's an... Oh, exactly. VP about to say they can go through the back line towards B side, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They start wrapping immediately in FaZe. They're still wondering, is it going to be B towards A? The smoke goes down, and now Jacob really has to guess. They can push up onto that A site, and he's not going to be able to see them until they come around the train. So this is buying so much time for Snacks to get in position to get a nice bomb plant here, and they even have the post plant positions on VP's side. So this is really nasty now for FaZe going into the retake. They have a couple of nades to work with, but it's going to be a series of duels, it looks like, seeing as how one player, that's Keo going over towards Connector. Bialy already lying in wait. Perfect spot. Here's him stepping from a mile away. And now it's all on Jacob, and he gets spotted as well. So Snacks doesn't even need to take the risk. He's actually just going to let him go, dropping, and... Has mercy in the end. I thought that he was going to go for the knife for a second there. Yeah, me too. I was so sure of it, but um, I don't. I actually, I actually think Rain made a bit of a mistake going for the for the fight over at um, over at Ivy. Not because he. I mean, he could have obviously tried to avenge Fox going down in the corner, 
Um, that that wouldn't have been necessarily such a bad play. What, what really sort of triggered me about that was the fact that Jacob was already pushing over a B. So if he just stays alive, then they have Jacob pushing the B hallways, and they have all the information they need. They've got a four on three. They don't need to do anything apart from just having Jacob do that. So I think a bit of miscommunication. Rain, uh, you know, obviously incredibly smart player. So um, just maybe a lack of communication there on the phase side. But that's a seven-two scoreline. Fox opening up with the AWP. They need this round. They need all the rest of the rounds. And Neo with what looked like a running AK spray headshot onto Rain. Why not? They gotta be freaking out right now, VP. Do they actually know what's, what they're walking into? I mean, Keo runs face first into Taz's AK. So that'll sort that out. Neo's still on high waiting, and he will get the high ground advantage on Jacob. Might be able to follow it up as well. Snacks finally chimes in, takes out Fox. That's the opt down now for FaZe. And it's all on AZ with this CZ. They are low enough, but he gets the running gun onto Snacks. How does that even happen? Looks for the last shot. Onto Neo. Neo still has 4 HP and AZ's picked up a P250. He's more than capable of doing this. They're both so very low and he will come through with the clutch. So forced by Gamble from FaZe, a single op and everybody else going for P250s and CZs and they somehow beat VP. Wow, what a what a round. I mean, some really good kills coming in from Neo, but that was almost like a drive-by that AZ was doing at the end here. Look, he doesn't even stop running. What the hell is that? Wow. Yeah, that's. Cr I mean, the first kill is just jaw dropping. Like run and gun, straight up. Az the hero, but Fox also getting two key kills, really bringing that AWP to the fore. Well, now I mean they have the buy, and it's going to be VP going for the force. They've got the Tech Nines out, and they're just going for the run and gun straight out onto this A site. Jacob full flash is going to get run down by Taz, and once again they just get caught out of position. Snacks all out aggression from him. Picks up the AWP and gets a kill with it. Rain. Had to get that kill, otherwise that would have been a done round. Now it is still a 2-1-2. Two -two. Smoke is about fading, and Kiyoshima spots the angle, and actually with the FAMAS, that's not an easy spray to hit, but he does it anyway. Snacks playing on top of the smoke, but he's going to get taken out by Rain, who gets a triple kill and makes up for the previous round, and that's going to be a 4-7 scoreline here. FaZe slowly but surely starting to uh, get a little bit of a hold of this game, and that was a force up by Virtus Pro, and they didn't even get the bomb hunt down, so they are going to be ecoing this time. Very low on money. A little bit of breathing room maybe for the uh, for the CT side here. It's a, it's a real opportunity now for FaZe to just completely annihilate VP and finally get their economy running. It's a bit late in the half to be going for it when you have four rounds left, but still, I mean, if you can just get control here, this would be huge. Jacob up close, gets the big spray, sees the third man, whips around and takes him out as well. Big plays coming in from Jacob, holding a pop dog, and now it's just Taz all by his lonesome over here in A main. Gonna get dunked on. Easy just completely catches him out. So five rounds, very quick, and a perfect anti-eco coming in here from FaZe. That's exactly what they needed to build some confidence. Seeing as how two, only two of them are sitting in double digits right now. Fox and AZ, the rest of them just lagging behind. Some pretty good spray control here. You gotta think once the first two people have already been chewed up by that M4, that Pasha is the third guy standing on top of that, on top of that ladder, just think, I, I'm not gonna <laughs> on that, you know? That's too much. He does it with like, you know, he had like one bullet left as well. I think he uses the whole mag, so that was a close call. M4A4 Master Race, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Silencer, man. PPU lasers, that's what's up. Well, Rain is over by Ivy, and um, that grenade will do some damage to him. Not a bad start. Smoke is up as well, and even more forward smoke there. An interesting position for him. He's taking a bit of a risk doing this, but BP, if they end up falling for it, it'd definitely be a good start here for FaZe. Another two rounds. Um or sorry, another round here, and they'll 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 force VP to eco immediately again. So I mean this could be like an eight five or sorry, an eight seven finish here in favor of FaZe if they just put a, a couple of rounds together right now. Oh, this is this is their time to shine, really. And rain. Nice opening from Pasha. Crouches under Rain's aim. He does get headshot, but Rain gets the job done. Jacob, however, will be able to actually hold his own. Just picks up a one-for-one -one trade. AZ's going to have a say as well, but he gets caught in the back by Pasha. And Pasha making the huge difference. Two kills for him, both of them key. And that starts everything off here for VP. A difficult retake coming in now. There is a guy up in the sniper nest as well. That's Pasha and even with not that much health. They do have a grenade, so if they knew he was up there, maybe they could land it. But uh, it's going to be super tricky at this point. Kiyoshima trying to find the opening by Ali to shut him down. And Fox decides... You know what? This is not worth it. And we've made great use of the orbs earlier on, even by just saving one. So let's try and see if we can't do that again. Pasha decides that um, this is just not worth it anymore. I th did he kill himself coming down from Sniper? I think he did. I think he jumped down, yes. <laughs> it's, the, it's the extra weight of the biceps and gravity just oh, does the trick, right? You never underestimate gravity, man. 
It's too much. Well, you know, usually it's Pyth who kills himself on this map, so Pasha, I guess. Feeling like he wants to join the uh, suicide club on train. Why not? But, I mean, hell, they don't care, man. At this point, everything's going right here for VP. Eight rounds. Once again, resetting FaZe's economy. But thankfully, I mean, this is the big saving grace. This is why it was so important that FaZe, they handled that anti-eco well. It's just that now they actually have the money to go for a buy. If it was a close round a couple rounds ago, they wouldn't have any economy to go off of here, FaZe. But now it's, I mean, it's neck and neck here going into the 14th round. 8-5 for VP with the lead. Both teams full bot. And this is going to be the big play coming out. VP, once again, not wasting any time at all. And Neo's going to catch out Jacob this time around. But Fox instantly wow. replies. That's such a good shot from Fox. If he misses that, he's instantly dead. Goes for a second one. It's going to be Pasha going down by Ali up on the train, getting the one shot in and following up with Snacks with a kill on Fox. And now it's going to be a two-on-one. Kiyoshima, the newcomer to the team here, now is a good time to step it up. And he gets a straight headshot on by Ali. A nice start, so much time left here for Snacks to make it work. And the spray almost connects, but it will be Snacks picking up a double kill and surviving with seven health. And Virtus Pro now with a 9 5 lead. I mean, that wasn't a good, that was a good attempt from Kyushima. But um, this is, this is turning into a bit of a, a, a terrible first half of phase right now. I'm really surprised from Rain, man. He's the one who seems to really just try and rush and force situations. He's, try, he's clearly trying to, he's, I mean, Usually you expect Rain to be leading the frag uh, and be, being in the lead with the frags for phase, you know, topping that scoreboard. And I'm wondering right now if he isn't tilting a little bit because of that, because he isn't in the lead. He's sitting at low single digits, and that's not good enough as far as Rain is concerned. And so he just keeps trying to like run into these situations to be the hero. Like in that one, instead of waiting for Kyo to rotate in to help him out, he decides, okay, I'm actually going to take this. I don't, I know where one of them is. I might not know where the second is. I'm just going to run in here and try and force it right. And that puts Kyo in a really tough situation. Had they waited it out, try to play a little bit more patiently, maybe something could have happened there. But Rain, it seems like several times now in this half, we've seen him really just try and like force the issue. Yeah. And it hasn't worked for him either, any of the times, actually. I mean, AZ and, and Fox are playing really well, but the rest of the team is sort of lacking a little bit behind. So, yeah, I don't know what's up. Um, you got to wonder because they do need three out of five at least, and preferably more than that to, to play well. I think two out of five is not quite good enough here. Bayali with a really good opening. Obviously, the 15th round, so FaZe have just bought whatever they can, which is really not a lot here. Fox in the corner. And he actually takes that peak just at the right time. That's really good. You want to be the guy initiating the fight. You don't just want to stand still in a corner, even though sort of, I mean, intuitively, that might seem like a good idea. You're like, all the way in the corner there. But generally, generally speaking, you want to be the guy to sort of peek into the angle and take that fight. Double kill for Fox and Neo turning the tables on Jacob there in the in the ladder room and or in Pop Dog. And that's going to be Taz closing out the round and the half for a 10-5 first half finish in favor of Virtus Pro against FaZe. What a what a day it's been already. We've had a lot of really weird games. All these guys, Snacks, it's like, don't worry, we got it right in the end. I love when you have those confrontations as well, where you almost want to keep a tally going at the on the side, right? Like, how many how many times does Neo win the duel? How many times does Jacob yeah. win the duel? Because they just kept running into each other round after round after round, right into Pop Dog. So that time around, well, Neo best him, obviously. But Fox, man, I mean, we have to give him credit. He's sitting at 18 kills right now. Like, this guy is really just, you know, he's going ham on his team. AZ isn't too far behind with 14. But for, for Fox to be the one leading the charge, that's, I mean, it, you know, it's like, yeah, you want to be really positive for Fox, but at the same time... Uh, it is one of those things where, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where you, you it's, it's like with, with a bunch of other teams, you know, if this guy is top fragging, does that mean something else is not working on the exactly. team? Exactly. I mean, I think Fox is, I, th I mean, this is the ridiculous part, isn't it? Because every Portuguese team that Fox played in, you would just like, Please, can we just get Fox on a, on a team with like with, you know a bunch of other good players? Now that he is, um, I think I think actually the the strength of having him on this particular team is that he, I think sort of on a personality level is is much more sort of he's, he's much more moldable or he'd be molded more than anyone else. I think he's he's got less of an ego probably and and can can sort of take up almost any role you give him. So that maybe not it's not always true for all sort of star players. A lot of them will will sort of want to play a particular role. But look at this. VP pushing aggressively. We've got Neo leading the charge here with the 5-7, but all of FaZe are on the other side. So this is going to be just a complete car crash, and we'll have to see who can power through. They're going to go for the boost, actually, right into FaZe. This is ridiculous. Taz sneaking around. The rest of FaZe are on the other side. What is this circus now? It's going to be Taz shooting one of the back. Snacks picking up a couple of kills, and Taz with a headshot. Oh, no, FaZe. They've been completely outplayed in this round, and Kiyoshima, I don't even know. You can't explain this, can you? What can he hope to do? Well, he can pick up a P2K, so it gives him a chance. If he can hit all headshots, it's not asking a lot. I mean, he's got one kill so far. So let's see if he can actually clutch at 1v4, because Taz has just completely eviscerated his team. 
you've got to feel just ma massively, massively outgamed. A little sad, a little disappointed. I mean, that's, that's just like shake your head. Because Taz, he played it perfectly. He got right behind them, just nothing working. And Keo's now down to 20 HP, no Kevlar. And Snacks is there to just end his dreams. 11-5, and VP win the pistol on the CT side. So they get the strong start. Faze, not even a bomb plan to go off of. So most likely going to see a full buy out of them or some kind of force. And well, now you have to kind of cross your fingers and hope here if you're a FaZe fan because they have a long way ahead of them to get back into this match. VP, they've got a perfect chance now to just completely shut the door on them. Get up to 13 rounds and then just grind them out from here because VP, CT, side are pretty solid on this map. Oh. I was wondering there for a moment, but it is going to be three players going towards Ivy here for FaZe. And really what they're hoping to do is just, I mean, just gang up. Hope that they can rush whoever's holding down here alone. I mean, usually it is posture solo, so... If they can get lucky with the timing here, Faze, maybe they can actually get rid of him. That's a nice grenade. If you look at VP on the other hand, they haven't taken too many risks. They've got one SMG there on, uh, on Pasha, and they do have Taz with a P90, but, you know, it's in a bit of a different category when it comes to the uh, armor penetration, all that stuff. Still pretty good. Fox with the early frag, Tech 9 kill on Pasha, and by Ali smoked off for a moment. Just going to be turning his back, which you've got to think almost is a bit dangerous, but just respecting that smoke enough and uh, and turning around for it. The painful thing for FaZe, yeah, they get that smoke down, but they, they're going to have to take so long to rotate around to B, and that's what they were immediately thinking, right? That it's either like going to be a push out through A main, but with the fact that um, Snacks was able to rotate around through the back line to get eyes on the other side of that smoke, like the element of surprise is kind of lost here for FaZe. Them slowing it down again, though, might actually start to get VP doubting themselves a little bit, because now there has been enough time for FaZe to rotate around to B, but there's still two players holding solid on this A site and one close to connector as well can rotate in. And as soon as this push comes through, should be an easy job here for VP to hold them off. Finally gets the reload in, and Snacks is actually there to help him out, and they're just going to clean up this bomb site. Not going to be a bomb plant this time either. AC picking up a really good double kill at the end. Steals the rifle, goes for the triple. Oh, he had one more bullet. That would have probably been it, but Taz able to uh, get the frag with just 10 health left, and that's going to be a 12 and 5 scoreline here. Bit of an expensive round for Virtus Pro, but they, they managed to make it work anyway. Yeah, that is actually a little bit too close for comfort. Thought that it would be a little bit more uh, a little bit more solid there in the end. But there were only the two on the A side, so when you've got like three Tech Nines running at you. Yeah, but that's that was the ridiculous part, wasn't it? Snacks and Bayali, they they locked that bomb site down and then they just let AZ get two kills for no reason at the end. Twenty-three kills on Snacks as well in the eighteenth round. Yeah, Snacks is just having a great game to start off this tournament for them. And that's exactly what you want to see if you're a VP fan. Snacks hitting all of his shots, and then that allows for the rest of Virtus Pro to kind of like rally around him, start upping their level as well. Neo going for that, ah, going for that weapon swap. So painful whenever that happens, because again, there's gonna peak as soon as you swap out. Taz is still gonna be able to get a nice triple spray down. AZ just goes plummeting to Earth, but he's now got an M4 to play with, and he's got three kills so far. Well, no, sorry, he's got the one kill so far. They just went full lemming on Taz. They just they just try to push all the members on on top of that ledge. Get get down there. That's and not an angle, easy angle to hold either, to adjust your aim with. Because if they this. get over you, you're done for. So yeah, he has to stop them while he's in while they're in front of him. Someone should have bought some bricks and they could have laid like a little ladder, you know, going forward. Like, has anyone else played lemmings ever? Uh, all of our audience is going to be like 60. No one knows what lemmings is anymore. Yep, including it's me. Depressive. You don't. What? You never <laughs> played, what is this? You're gonna have to show me, bro. My God. I feel incredibly old <laughs> all of a sudden. Can't believe it. Right. Old old people tweet at me and let me know I'm not alone. This is uh, it's terrible. 19th round is coming up and um, Virtus Pro, I mean, it'd have to be some sort of like massive disaster. It's obviously too late for them to get their visas denied. They're already in the country. Um, so, you know, I don't know what will happen here. Someone. Someone breaking an arm on VP's side, Cuban stepping in instead, you know, something like that. Uh, it seems to be the theme these days, right? Stark stepping in for Navi, Threat stepping in for Nip. Let's get Cuban back, please. Would be interesting, wouldn't it? Well, at least as far as this round is concerned, both teams, both teams actually really going for the slow play here. Taking their time with the setup. I mean, they've actually managed to get control of uh, Ivy at least for a little bit here. AZ and Fox making sure that nobody's pushing up as the smokes are going to clear. They are finally going to start to decide where they want to take this. They still have all the smokes, but they're very light on the nades to make life easier here for an A take. So with 40 seconds left, it's going to come down to perfect smokes and then just hitting those headshots. I mean, the straight duels, right? Because there's no flash to make it any easier for them. 
30 seconds left. FaZe are running this way too close to the clock, and Snacks, he's got just really, really evil plans here. But actually, it's just a bit too late with the Molozov. That would have been godlike, because with 20 seconds, if you had two people stuck in Pop Dog with the Molozov there, that would have been the round done. It looks like it's still going to be a rough round here for FaZe. It's now a two on three, and Fox is very nearly dead. Great spray coming out from him, though, picking up a double kill. The bomb is going to be going down, but it's all on Kiyoshima. He's in a very bad spot, and Snacks just going to be rolling in with a triple kill at the end there to make it 14-5. And again, I mean, the money, they could they could make a buy happen here. Um, they can all get AKs, but they won't have almost any grenades. And obviously, they will be doing that. Like, face, they have to be insane to not go for the buy here. So, what a rough game. Dude, yeah, what what a monster of snacks. We've had so many of these games today. I mean, not just us, but I mean, generally, the, there was obviously the G2 CLG game. And what's going on? And I Never speak of that again. Never speak of that again. G2, why? I don't know. Wow. I get my hopes up every time. Yeah. Nah, yeah, nah, not going to talk about that. Horrible <laughs> flashbacks. You know, just flitting before my eyes right now. But back into this game here where FaZe are currently getting pounded into the ground. VP. Yeah, it's just snacks. It's the snack show. He's just going ham. 27 kills, 10 deaths. I mean, this is just a snack show. He's just doing everything he wants. And well, FaZe, once again, going to go powering down onto lower. And actually, they catch Neo out a little bit. But then Taz, it's, he's going to be able to go to work. He actually only gets the one kill. So that's not quite good enough. AZ and Rain, very quick trades. And it's gonna, going to come down to the rotation here for Virtus Pro. Yeah, a bit of a strange situation. By Ali guessing the angle through on AZ, he's going to be furious about that. Rain and Kiyoshima are now left. It's a 2-1-2 two two and Rain. Just losing a little bit of patience there and walks right into Bali's shot. Bali playing really well in this round. And Kiyoshima alone, he's not sure if they're already defusing. He has to go and check it in. That's a really bad spot to be caught in the smoke is there. He has no grenades. If he had a Molotov or anything, maybe he could buy some time. And now he's going to try for the low ground. Is that they already heard him and they're going to be pre-firing that angle. Bali picking up a triple kill and saving the round and putting Virtus Pro on 15 rounds here. And that's going to be one hell of a way to uh, to finish it here. I mean, FaZe, you're absolutely right. And I think what went wrong this round for Taz and Neo, who are in that bomb site, is that Taz is, is sort of has to sort of almost bank on Neo drawing enough attention. I think Neo is playing a bit too defensively then. So Taz is sort of on his own. I mean, he still should have got more than one kill, but ideally they're all looking at Neo anyway. And uh, th there was some sort of like miscommunication there. So anyway. Bali saves it with a triple, and that's pretty good. It's just sometimes the field doesn't work out. I think that's what, you know, Taz, that position that he plays, a lot of the time we'll see them just, like, sit there and wait for the players to push out. Maybe he jumped the gun. Maybe he felt a little bit of pressure there, and he decided to go for the fight. Very quick play coming out here from FaZe, though, not wasting any time at all. And for once, it works. AZ, Jake, and Fox all getting kills. Neo will be able to burn somebody alive. That's Keo down. But the damage has been done. Nice shot from Pasha, though. AZ with the shoulder peek, and he gets caught. So now into a two-on-three. And Taz, Pasha, they have the life lead going into this. But there's so many angles to check on this A sign. It's not an easy job. Burnt baguette only works if you're doing barbecue. And you've got to get that yeah, the barbecue feel. Not like otherwise. Croutons? Yeah, exactly. Like salad? Is that where we're going with the, hang the healthy angle here? Taz all on his own in a one on three. And um, it's going to end up going down to uh, Rain. Also, Jake and Rain there helping out in the end. So six to 15. It is almost barbecue time, Sambo. I don't know if you've noticed. So we're getting oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have spent, what, five months in the darkness? And it's finally like go outside, 7 p.m. It's still light out. Light, sunlight. Yes, give it to me. I mean, yeah, soon barbecue. All the Scandinavians, you know what's up. Yeah. Well, we've got the Molotovs out. FaZe trying for another fairly aggressive push here because it already worked the one, so. Maybe just try and keep that pace. Pasha charging with his knife out all the way up. This is some madman level play, and the question is if it's going to be soon enough. I mean, this would have been beautiful if the rest of his team wasn't already dead. But because they are, Rain just seeing it coming. I feel bad for Pasha because I think he had a, a cool thing going there for a while. Yeah, it's just that window is so hard to hit, right? Because he knows that they're executing, and he's just counting down the seconds in his head. But AZ will find the last kill on the Snacks. No heroics this time for Snacks. And 7 to 15, but still a long way to go here for FaZe as far as the money is concerned for VP. It's, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit sketchy, but there we are. We've got, um, right now 50 kills between Snacks and Viali. Those two combined have got 50 kills, and we're just in the 23rd round. It's not, not too bad. They are carrying quite a bit. We'll see if FaZe can continue. They would need to get eight rounds in a row from this point to push it into overtime and then win that overtime. 
I'm usually fairly optimistic, but I don't see this happening. Yeah, it's a bit tough to call, right? Pasta again. Oh, oh the timing. He catches AZ perfectly. That's so painful for AZ. It's so frustrating. But you, he actually has an AK to work with now. You'd need a camera shot of AZ's face at that point, because that's, that's, I think he, he got killed for the smoke over at the slope as well in B-bomb side earlier. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have these games where every, every no matter where you're standing, you just get you just get killed, so. Everything goes wrong, yeah. And AZ's been playing pretty well, so it's not even like he's been, so he's 21 frags. Let's see here. It does seem like the push is going to be coming in here. I mean, at least it's Jacob kind of scouting out up on upper in the brown halls, looking towards this B site. Three players here holding for VP, though. So it's not a bad situation for Virtus Pro. If he walks in and donates another AK, they've got a fighting chance, VP. And, well, that's just what's wow. going to happen. Neo just annihilates them. Done. I look at how simple that plan is, because as soon as Neo takes that fight, you know that uh, down on the slope, Pasha, where he was standing, he's going to be peeking up as well. And suddenly they have a pretty good uh, crossfire going on there, so... A little bit scary here for FaZe, they're a man down and they're right at the brink of losing this map. Bringing it back into a three on three and then Fox coming up with a kill on Pasha is certainly going to help out. And he's ready, a little bit of a scary move there, <laughs> just showing his feet and jumping up the ladder. What a great move coming out of uh, Neo. And almost a sort of a classic thing, Neo playing on train. This is actually, if, if you're new to the game and if you want to go and check out some of the legendary players, then Neo, in my opinion, is the legendary player to, to, to go and look at if you want to look at like 1.6 stuff. Um, and if you wanted to go and look at sort of a particular map, then, then you know, Train would be it. Um, no, 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 no. It's a cool kit. The cool kids call it 1.6 these days. I don't know if you knew that. 1.6. 1.6, man. 1.6. All right. Well, um... Yeah, it's some, but, some, some but different you're right. physics back then, but it's like you're not even surprised to see that, that it's Neo using a ladder trick because he's just he's just like mastered every element of movement in all of these yeah. games. So whenever it comes to like the ladder mechanics and all that, it's just like Neo, bam, makes it look art like art. Just pulls a fast one, picks up the kill, and 15 rounds still on the board here for VP. But phase now at eight, full buy for them. But now VP actually managed to have the money for the double op strategy. Interesting. Pasha and Neo both going at it. Not snacks this time. So we have to see if either one of them is going to be able to hit the shot. A little bit of a bait there from Snacks trying to get a reaction, but they aren't going to bite. That's going to be Jacob falling back. And Rain and Fox in the meantime have taken over Brown Halls. So at this point, FaZe, they're looking pretty good in the round. Minute 30 left on this clock. AZ's sitting on the other side, making sure that nobody's pushed through, uh, through Ivy because Pasha's done that a few times now. So he's being patient about this, waiting to see if Pasha's going to get impatient on his side. But pretty soon it's going to come down to FaZe just having to make a decision because they do have all the parts of the map that they need. I mean, they were changing the pace and playing a lot faster and more aggressively out in the courtyard just a couple of rounds ago. Now they're back to playing that slow style, and it, it hasn't been treating them uh, too favorably just yet. So you got to wonder if it's uh, if it's maybe just a bit of a, I don't know, a bit too, bit too much of a slowdown in the phase. VP, they're gonna be they're gonna be loving all this time that's being wasted, but it's it's gonna be a full execute. They've got the Molotovs, and I don't think any of them are gonna hit where VP are standing right now. And with this AWP, you've got to wonder, Taz here should, even with the smokes that are going to be going down, he should be able to, to get some pretty good spray in. They're so nade wealthy right now, FaZe. They have everything they, they need. The Molotovs to go out and clear the positions, the smokes, the flashes, and then the perfect anti-flash. How horrible does it get? Taz not going to get all three, but Neo doing the damage anyways. And a man advantage, two man advantage coming in here for VP, although Fox is bringing it back, doing the best that he can. Still, the timing of that flash couldn't have been worse for FaZe. And what a sneak in from Neo. He also got that early grenade that rained right down on top of them. Fox with a great flick coming through. Pasha going to be going down, but they're already down on the site here. Not quite diffusing yet. Grenade going to be raining down in. Won't kill anyone. This is such a difficult peek. He goes down to Neo, picking up a triple, and that's going to be it. Virtus Pro winning the map here and making it 16 to 8. So a good victory for them. And um, I mean, FaZe, they certainly tried to find it back. That was a three round streak at the end for them there. Um, so showing that they definitely know how to play the, the, the T side as well, but it still wasn't nowhere near enough. The Polish team just showing up massively in this game. What a hell of a performance from Fox, that last shot as well. But that's it. I mean, this is, I mean, again, we're going, going, we're going to go over the analyst desk. We're going to figure it all out with them. But it does seem like they rely so heavily on just big plays to come through to really make it close for FaZe. But at the end of the day, that's only going to get you five rounds on the board, six rounds on the board. Yeah. But when you don't have, you know, the, the system to fall back onto the way that VP do, that's where the difference, that's where you see the difference. And so, I mean, VP, they don't get flustered.